Hello my soccer universe to a Premier League review. If you haven't seen the Bundesliga vi video or you just want to watch the Premier League review, I decided, I know I'd, I announced that I make one big video. I decided uh, if I still make it simple, I still can make five and that will still allow me to change the backgrounds, which is why I have most of these jerseys there. So I let's see how it will work. I also will put the scores in because it makes it easier to follow the video. Um, I also rearranged. I, it's not now expected standing is basically biggest winners to biggest losers. So basically biggest winners here. Uh, and then we have kind of the losing side in a way here. And this is in terms of how their expected points total changes or, you know, uh, how impactful given their expectations were their wins over the weekend. And that's why Villa here. We will not much talk about the game because I haven't seen much of the game, but the Villa is the top winner because the 3-0 over Everton was a rather unexpected and big win of theirs. However, uh, the big uh, over, you know, when I look, look, we have three teams up top with 13 points, but I'm flabbergasted that after five rounds, Chelsea and Liverpool, same amount of points, exact same goals, and they are top of the league. And at this very moment, it is very, very, very early. One might say this could be the duel for the title, maybe, maybe not, uh, because you don't have, you know, with Manchester United, I, I, I don't know. They need a fish nor foul at the moment. You know, they have a super wonderful squad in many ways, where, uh, where I think. A very experienced coach may be getting something out there. I think uh, if they had Tuchel, I think we will be talking about uh, Manchester United being top favorites. You know, so I heard today uh, with Manchester United, you don't know whether they are lucky to be good or good to be lucky. So, yeah. So that's why I'm saying uh, Liverpool and Chelsea, maybe I don't buy it yet. Whatever I'm saying now, I don't quite buy it yet because we have Manchester City is still, in my opinion, the most talented squad, so we have to see. But there are also a few signs. Uh, the other thing that I, and this has been a long-term trend or already. I remember that two year, years ago we were talking about the big six, uh, meaning the top four from last season plus Arsenal and Spurs. What this weekend again to me proved is that Arsenal definitely is out of this top six, maybe in terms of importance, in terms of fan base, in terms of money they can generate, they're still top six, but um, Arsenal to me uh, on a uh, pure sporting merit is definitely out of the top six. And I will argue that Spurs are also have left that conversation ever since they lost the Champions League final. Uh, probably in that season, even a little bit before that, Mourinho, just a short flare up, I see Spurs not really uh challenging for much but yeah i might be surprised so a uh, quick run through all through his runs. i mean having one the first one that sticks out to me it's not the one between newcastle it's no brand for two nil at uh, wolves i have to say i'm getting i don't have any brandford jer uh, jer jersey but i'm finding sympathies for brandford mainly because i'm a statistician and there's that's guided so um will be an interesting team Arsenal through Erdegaard goal win at Burnley, which was a win that not many uh, predicted. Liverpool was against Crickers Path, was much tighter than maybe the scoreline suggested. However, uh, Mane now scores his 100th for Liverpool. I think last week we had Salah, so those two uh, in lockstep also uh, to, to, to together with, Je uh, with Chelsea. Uh, and then it's Salah and Naby Keita. Naby Keita's goal, I think, was a great shot from far out. Uh, that must be seen. 3-0 um, win. Uh, at the same time, City and Southampton, 0-0. Nil -nil. That was a little bit unexpected. As I said, Villa with a huge win over Everton. Leicester losing to Brighton. Uh, Brighton getting things now. You know, whatever went wrong for them last season seemingly goes right now. Um, I did not. I saw maybe the last half hour of West Ham against United. I mean, when I joined, it was 1 1, where Ben Rama had given uh, West Ham the lead, Ronaldo then with a tap in. And I'm gonna call him now. And I do this just out of spite because uh, he's not Penaldo, he's Tapaldo. There you go. 
I'm not going to tweet about this. Yes, I've been really bad at, with social media as as I need to up my game there. But you know, uh, it is now family uh, work channel, and then I go into. Uh, I'll get there. Uh, so it was one one, and then the the game actually took a very weird uh, turn uh, when Lingard came on for Pogba. Uh, because he scores what the eventual winner with a far shot out and, and I'm really you really didn't expect because Lingard was so instrumental for West Ham and he kind of yeah uh, killed him but it was a very well taken strike and it's good to see Jesse Lingard coming back I guess he wants to gamble for a new contract uh, at probably a different team as, as, as well but you know he's finding his way back and in the meantime I think there were two penalty calls where Ronaldo definitely want to have one I think for one I gotta say, probably is a penalty. Uh, I know he wants to have it, but the way the things were going, he should. I looked at the replay. I thought they're, they're gonna give a penalty. No, he didn't get get it for whatever reason. Uh, but then a uh, penalty. I think Shaw with the hand. Uh, that was clear for to me that that is gonna give him. Um, Penalty given for West Ham, and then Noble comes on to take the penalty with his first shot, and of course the hair saves it. This. I know he has a good record or whatever, but I'm just wondering uh, why. I mean, there is now you came on just for that friggin' penalty. There's even more pressure on you. I'm not necessarily buying that. Uh, you know, you yeah, my, maybe you you didn't stretch. Maybe you need a little bit feel of going, but I, still, I would not have to have have have, to have done that. And so yeah. It ends 2-1 for United, again blowing, uh, playing in the blue awaiters and again my wife saying, yep, yeah, uh, those look like pajamas. <laughs> I had a fun because I actually do like them a teeny bit. Uh, and then Spurs against Chelsea, uh, it was a weird game because the first half, uh, I think Spurs, it was not an exciting game, but Spurs had slightly the better of the game. And then Tuchel in... Sees it's not working, we need to take Mount out, we need to bring uh, Conte on, and suddenly Chelsea is choking Spurs to death. It was kind of, you know, here you can play a little bit, and now we really uh, take the life level of you. And then uh, the goal scorers were also not your typical Chelsea stuff, where uh, Thiago Silva had it in from uh, Alonso, uh, corner kick, and then the Kol um, uh, Kovacic which is nicely played. I mean, uh, I think. I think this is was where he, he, he had a nice run and the ball comes to Kante who takes a shot deflected by uh, Daya onto the post and then just behind the goal. I mean it was a BR strike uh, in the best degree. Makes it to the next also of Shem Werner who uh, Werner Lukaku kind of there could be something there if they find the way uh, the, the, you know their runs if they uh, can get a little bit better together. I think there might be a way for, for, for them that Werner actually will score goals again. Uh, he at least uh, got an assist to Antonio Rüdiger's goal in the 92nd and auto destruction uh, by Chelsea in the end. Uh, just for uh, the upcoming come, come, games, it's a weird timing, but the Saturday we have a at 1.30 in San Sandro, I think with 12, 30 on the island. We have a Champions League final rematch between Chelsea and Man City. Quite big games, and on Sunday we have Spurs against uh, Spurs playing at Arsenal. So also kind of two big games uh, in one week. Although I think Chelsea Man City is the much much bigger one there as well. In any case, those are my thoughts on the Premier League uh, this weekend. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Drop a line below if you want to add anything else, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell, so in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.